hey guys, what if we wanted to write information to our node, um, such as maybe like who last hit the node or maybe how many times the node has been punched? You can certainly get even more creative than that, but what if we wanted to do that? Is there a way? Indeed, there is, and it's this fancy word called metadata. Let me show you. Over here on the Lua API, um, you can peruse it and find this section called metadata. And this just basically breaks down metadata for the various different objects in the game. You can store information not only in a node, but also in an item. Now, items I have not even touched on this year, and that's okay. We've done most of this stuff in our nodes um, for, for various reasons. And uh, so that's fine. We're gonna stick to nodes. So, uh, so real quick, metadata. What is it? How to use it? Well, I think I've answered what is it. It's information. It could be a string, which is text. It could be a number. It could be a table. So I think those are primarily what you can inject into a node. Uh, so, so now, how do we actually inject those things into our node? Well, um, you need a position. Um, oh, but before I, before I talk about that, let me let me address this this here uh, uh, information that they've provided. That a node metadata contains two things, um, and the first thing is a key value storage. What is key value storage? Well, that is basically uh, you could think of it like cubby holes where the contents of that cubby hole what you might put in it like maybe an envelope or like a, a toy I don't know uh, would be the value and then the key is actually like the name of the cubby hole so if I was to tell you go to uh, this shelf and grab me the contents of the cubby hole a then you would look or a1 then you would look and you'd find A1 and grab the contents out of it, okay? So the key in that case is A1, the value is the contents inside that. So it's like a table, if you will, uh, where you have cubby holes and each one is addressed with a key. Hopefully this will start to make sense later. Uh, now, let me move on to um, some important applications and and actually you'll probably get a a semi good understanding of what's going on just just from here okay so what we have is um, the first thing that has to be done is um, you, you have to grab the metadata from an object all right uh, now this object um, a node will have metadata in it but we want to change that metadata and stick something in. So first we got to grab it. And we do that with the position. So uh, there's this method called mindtest.getMetadata. You have to do that first. You have to. First of all, it, that will grab um, the metadata and throw it into this variable that they have defined as meta. And I think that's a great name. You could give it whatever name, caret, block, whatever. But you need some sort of name there and it's going to catch and hold this object if you will or this table okay and then f uh, uh, as we go down here what they're doing is they're actually interacting with the metadata uh, and so here they're apparently they're setting a string and you can see they're using this colon syntax and then here they're setting a string and uh, those aren't maybe the best examples, but here, let's stick with this one. In this case, what they're doing is they're, they're setting, they're, they're injecting into the metadata uh, a key, which is called infotext. Remember, that's the name of the cubbyhole. And then what's going to be put into that cubbyhole, the value, is chest. Okay, so yeah, and there's several other really, really interesting things going on there, but it gets a little bit confusing, all right? Now, um, now this is fairly limited. This example gives you a few of the tools that you can use 
by tools, I mean, I'm talking about this set string. A few of the tools that you can use to interact with the metadata. Where are the rest of the tools? Well, as you probably know, they're somewhere in the, the Lua API. And if we go down to class reference, uh, we will find, uh, as not as obvious, uh, we will find them in metadata ref. And so what this is, is just like object ref, you have all of those methods, if you will, uh, properties, uh, ways to interact and change the player's attributes. Here we have the various ways of changing the metadata. So here it, it, it basically explains all of that. And there's just um, a couple that I'll go over right now. Uh, just to kind of so you can see first of all contains that's a way that you can check to see if a key even exists so um, let's say you have been uh, you put somebody's name in the block and you gave it uh, the cubby hole the name player name or pn then then if you want to see if the block even contains a cubby hole with the name pn you would use that function and you would say contains uh, quotation marks pn and it would say true or false. So that's a valuable thing um, for, for updating information uh, and various other reasons. Another one here is set integer. That's valuable. Uh, so you can actually create a number. You can put the number into the metadata. All right. So that's, uh, and then of course, we've got set string, which we saw earlier. And you provide a name for the cubby hole and then the value for the cubby hole, which is going to be a, st a string. Uh, we uh, it says value of quotation marks will delete the key. So actually, that's that's very Im important to know as far as you know how to delete stuff because none of these functions allow you to delete. So all right, let's go over to our VS Code now, and uh, let me show you what I've done. All right, so and I'm just going to go over this fairly quickly because I'm running out of time uh, instead of typing it all out. So here I have created a new node because I want to test this specific functionality. And I think it'll be easier for you to see what's going on. Simple stuff, right? Description, tiles, groups, and then on punch, which is our go-to callback. Now inside of on punch, I've done something a little bit differently. Uh, we have one line which says, which is referencing some sort of function. And this function is mymod.metadatamanip and it's it's taking two different inputs position and puncher all right so uh you might you might be able to tell from this I, i've created a, a function that holds all of my code it makes things cleaner i didn't have to do it this way but i thought hey you know what um the, uh it'll it'll make more sense if i simply have one line which represents the entire idea of what i'm trying to do okay so this this line represents uh, a lot of code or an idea. Now, what is that idea? Well, I want to store the number of punches and I want to store the player's name. So we're, this, uh, this function is defined right up here on line 170. And, uh, and so it just gets called down below, right? So in here, I am, first of all, I'm getting metadata and I do this based on position. I pass in a position and it goes to that position and it grabs that object and it stuffs it into a variable called meta which I've defined here. The next thing that I do is I, since I want to store the player name into the node, whoever last hit it, I need to grab that player name by accessing the uh, object reference puncher and getting this property, get player name. Uh, now, then after that, what I want to do is I want to see like, has this node ever been hit before? If it has, then I would expect to see a certain key. And that key uh, is defined down here, but I would expect to see a certain key. And, and so I'm testing here to see if my mod hyphen PN is a cubby hole in the metadata. If it's not, then that node has never been hit. And we need to go ahead and do some preliminary so here I have a comment that says, this block has not been hit. We go down here and we're actually going to then put this um, key into the metadata. 
Um, so first of all, what I want to do is, is, is define hits. So I'm going to use metadata colon. Again, this is a tool that you can use to interact with that metadata. And we're going to set an integer. We're going to uh, set it to zero and call it hits. And you can see where this is going, hopefully. Now, the next thing is metadata, and we are setting the string. <clears throat> and this should ring a bell. We have the key name, my mod hyphen pn. And then what do I want to actually put in there? Uh, I want to put the player name, which I am actually, uh, I defined up here, but I forgot about that. So I'm going to put that right there. So that's the player's name. And once we hit it, it's going to stuff that name into the block, and I'll be able to pull that if I want to later. And then right here, I'm simply going to send a zero to the chat because I want to keep track of how many times it's been hit. And really, this would make sense to have it as one, but I started it at zero, so that's just the way it is. Uh, and then after that, I, I just end the function by returning true. It's just actually irrelevant, so don't worry about that. Uh, now, the next time that the node gets hit, it's going to come up and it's going to run the same function. It's going to go grab the metadata, grab the player name. But this time, when it checks to see if that con is contained, it'll say, aha, yes, it is. So we're going to do this upper section of code. So what do we have here? Well, we have uh, some sort of variable that's local to this function. And it is, it's going to hold the value uh, of hits. So in, in this case, we're actually pulling information out of the node with the tool called get. So hit meta colon get. It says, what do you want to get? Well, uh, you give it a hit, uh, a key name, and then uh, it goes and gets that information and dumps it to this variable. All right, so then I've got this number, right? So this, this is going to change, right? So every time that we hit this, we want it to go up one. Uh, so, uh, before I, before I do, before I actually, uh, add a number, I'm going to go ahead and print to the screen hits plus one, because what that represents is that this is the second hit or since I started at zero, it's technically it's going to print one, but, it, but anyways, and then, and then after that meta, and this will be familiar, hopefully meta colon set. And what that's going to do is it's going to say, well, what do you want to set? And in this case, we want to set, uh, we want to make a cubby hole, uh, which is called hits, and give it this value. And so that's just kind of a way, another way of saying, I want to update this uh, key inside of the metadata. All right, so there's, there's quite a few strange terms, key, value, meta, but it, it, the core, the ideas behind it are not too complex. Um, so let's save that and run over to mind test and just see what exactly that does. So I'm in my thing and if I hit it, um, you can see, let me create a new one here. And uh, if I hit it, you'll see it printed a zero there. I don't know if you can see that. A two or one, two, three, four, five. And it will keep uh, going up until the block is broken. Um, and so you can kind of play around with that and see how that, the functionality and how that all works. So, wow, I am way over time guys. But if, if, if you're interested, that is metadata uh, pretty much. Um, there's, of course, a lot more. Go to the Lua API if you want more information on that. But uh, for now, that's what I got for you, and I hope it helps a ton. Thanks for watching, guys.